Hello, I am Casa Sheva, Jackie here, and welcome back, Great Grandfather series. And as you can see, we're 12, so it's not going great. And as you can see, it's not looking great either. We're developing youngsters, that we do. Playing defensive football, working within the wage power, but nah, not really, even if they say that that's okay. Repairing uh, club financial damage, no. Playoff getting to the FA Cup third round. Qualifying round? No. <laughs> we have though gone through to the FA Trophy second round, so that's nice. Ashworth, nine goals there. Best average rating. Rick uh, van der Steen, six assists there. Jelson with best pass completion. Good uh, win with uh, two uh, man of matches. And Arazzo with most yellow cards, so he's suspended as well for today's match. So yeah, as you can see, very inconsistent. We're more like a middle team, sadly. So crucial and Ashton, we know that would be tough. Unfortunately, we lost this match. We had actually three <laughs> was offside or whatever. Um, so yeah, not great, but we it were an even match there against Clitorus. Uh, we won 3 1. Good win scoring three goals here. One on a penalty as well. Ashworth van der Steen. Good win scoring there. The first goal. I will probably not show the penalty goal. Um, here, Wusa we actually let go of since I got in another left back. This was just way too expensive. We got in some new players as well. Bleeper. We lost this away. I guess we have not just been great away. Ashworth scoring a penalty goal. Lancaster, we won this 1-0. McMaster scoring the goals for us. Very lucky. Not great by us. I thought actually we were like 9th or 10th about. Something. I believe we're not too far away to get to the playoff. So it isn't awful. 4-1 and then Twitch a pretty poor game here again. Lost, yeah, they took their chances. We were really poor at home. Uh, Wildness, we rotated a lot, lost this match, not surprising. Whitby, we went back and won 6 1 here. Grayson scoring, Ashworth with one goal. We might just show you at least Rick van der Stem. We might not show you every single goal here. Was it own goal as well, maybe? Yeah, it was our own goal there as well. So this is a fairly lovely goal, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And then Southport won one a little bit of fortune. We had control of the game there and then we conceded our own goal as well. Hasting, we went out of against. They were the same level as us. McMaster scoring goal. And then we had the brilliant performance here. They are... Uh, no, they are the same tier. But have actually one star higher in reputation. So Mac Master scored four goals here and had a 10. It's the first time I had a player that has over 10. And yeah, he scored four goals here. And uh, Ashward scored three goals. Um, but yeah, they haven't scored that many goals. I think the main issue is our central midfield isn't great. Uh, I moved in Kirby, is he called that, uh, on the defensive mid. He seems better there. McMaster again there, scoring. It's kind of easy goals here. McMaster again, Thunder, Steen as you can see, and Ken Goodwin has been really important as well. And then Ashworth here, and then they scored actually two goals as well, come back in the match here. Goodwin with the through ball to Ashworth. Yeah, I was surprised since we won that big against a team that's actually like the same as us or maybe even better than us. And then we lost against Hastings, which was... I think they are... There might be in a tier below or they are the same tier as us. So very exciting there, that match. So we are through in the FA Trophy, at least we didn't get that much money. Then we lost a very disappointing match here against Best Four. We had the same... <laughs> Or actually, I rotated a little bit, and that might be in the mistake because we were really double there. So today, we meeting Geisley and Gates, a very important matches if we are to 
get higher up in the leagues here. We are on 13 points, so we technically just have 3 points up. Yeah, as you can see, guys list 25 points. I think this is going to be really tough. Oh, we actually have the best striker partnership there. Players we have got in. Uh, Bird, we loaned out there because he did not get that much game time. And we released Uso, we released as well. Winter, it's not bad, but he did not play that great and was... Yeah, I would need it to just, we are still over the bar. Base stone, we also let go, but he did not play that much and he has had a lot of negativity. He was, he looks really good, but he had way high um, play wages or playing matches. Like, um, So we got in some new players here, Flanagan in central midfield, Mark Flanagan. Second best here, has good passing, good technique, very good... Uh, uh, mentals there two and a half star can have five star potential second best but still we need to improve there since we have just one player which we got in here uh ashley said which since we loaned out bird we got this player in uh he's still worse than chelson uh inverted winger they are not outstanding but we did just need one he's pretty good pace emilio bird we have here central midfield he can play some other positions as well pretty good tackling there and mentals and physicals and uh, so he's three star he is actually from geisley so he's actually played like 15 matches there but as you can see he's been on a lot of club but not playing a lot yeah 350 did this cost but we went over body with it Reese Pirkin Chantel, he was the only one that I could really loan in. I don't know really if he's that great, but we did just need someone else since we let go of that other fellow. And that means we're 341 over the budget. I have definitely tried still to sell my left back. Still not managed to do it. Uh, Jack McMaster's contract is going out, so that's really unfortunate. So we might not be able to keep him. So he scored, uh, or Ashworth has scored the most goals than we have McMaster, then we have Goodwin there. And yeah, we have three players over seven. So Goodwin, McMaster, Rick van der Stein, and Ashworth. But as you see, defensively, yeah, Hurd has done it pretty good, despite not having the best three. Or just two stars there. He's been actually better than the, my other left back in the way of Grayson. Uh, and the Juby has actually been better there. So we're starting him. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of going cautious here. But so we're going with Juby. He's actually a, a little bit more potential. Yes, very one footed. This is negative there. So Herd, Grayson, Lavender, they mostly played together there. Perkins, Chantal, he's more of a wing, wing back or whatever, but yeah, uh, <laughs> he just needs someone there. Horn Kirby, he's a central defender, but we don't have a really good defensive midfielder right now. I feel like we could be way more solid there, and as you can see, he's marking and skeleton, and he's pretty good positioning. Bird as well, pretty good, but unfortunately can't play there in defensive midfield. It's very defensive, it's a really good win. Understand Ashworth and McMaster, so might actually play very con counter football here. They said that we should go positive, but this is a way so. Not expecting that much of this match. If we get a draw, I'm pretty happy, <laughs> since you could see they are. So we're not even near them. I believe the nearest team is like six points away. They are on 19 points. Gale will probably need to watch out for him. Carline. Ooh, Constantinople. Constant. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be real tough. But it's cool just to meet your favorite team or whatever. Not expecting anything really. If we even score a goal here, how would it be happy? Van der Steen. Oh, that's a really poor cross though but not too bad average rating so far if they have the most of ball here van der Steen just gives away the ball that's not good 
should watch out and see that it's available to be played there instead of just giving the ball away. Uh, I feel like this could be really, really devastating or it could be like the nail in the coffin or I don't think it's going to be that since I've not got into the boardroom but if this continue they might actually bring me into the boardroom. The positive like I said is that we are not too far away. The, ne the negative is I don't think, even think if we count with leagues and maybe leagues and cup matches maybe but I'm not even sure that that is the case actually and as you can see Ashworth now they might score here but yeah sadly not great so far oh no why <laughs> why do they have to show off sides okay um well it could have been worse we could have been done with more goals <laughs> that's how I'm gonna see him bird, he's supposed to be the best here. He's not been the best so far. Let's just say that. Cavalero, let's try that. Or no, let's actually try. I want to lower Grayson's contrast and Julius, but I mean, we don't deserve anything more than Nell. Or, I mean, it's just luck. I must say, uh, Rick van der Sten is playing a good match every single game. Stewart has been pretty good here, no? Van der Sten! Oh. Why do you have to show me the offside goals? It's just infuriating to see us. Oh yeah, you scored two offside goals. Well, what does it matter if my players just run offside all the time? Oh well, this was probably a way too tough match. It was probably like a match that we shouldn't even have won, even if we would be playing good. You can see here, the center of the field is just shite. So, I guess we will be back for the next match. What a disappointing performance from a striker. They scored seven goals in that match. In the FA Trophy. So, yeah, I'll be right back soon again. So, see you soon. And welcome back here to... My great grandfathers. And now we're even on D, so... We're some, let's say that... And then we uh, made some signings since recently. Jordan, uh, Harvey, we got in the youngster here. Uh, I given him a real contract so I can loan him out. This is hundred thousand. So and then we got in Alistair Atkin instead of Jelson. It was a gamble. I couldn't even see how good he was, but he looks decent still. Uh, so third choice there and we yeah Jelson as you can see there we let him go so we just yeah we're still a little bit high there so I don't know how we is there one we can let go that hasn't done I mean him doesn't make sense Julius we could sell it's probably for his best that he has some game time so we're going with this lineup for today Dobie and uh, Wa Wallace, Grayson, Daniels, actually is 16 years old, but played good in the few matches he's played, so I'm going to try him here. Perkins, Chantel, actually pl played 6.5, so a little bit of changes here. Horn, Kirby, and let's see, Anayu, actually played some national appearance there. Really good free kicks as well. Stewart and Vander Steen, and then we have Ashward and McMaster. And then we go on positive, changing as well there. Go more standard. I would at least like improvements for us to at least bra off top 10. That's. I'm, I'm not happy with the situation either, but I don't want to get sacked. But who knows? They might, they might take me in, into the boardroom. The next match if if it doesn't change um let's see here in my i might not even be favorite but still i've mm, done bad seasons before and still managed to and we are this is still the highest division so they played in so i don't feel like it's that bad we just have to establish our share or get a good enough team here oh that's great we are just very inconsistent. McMaster is scoring after 7 minutes. You can see, we're, sometimes we are, are uh, 
attacking play here. Especially with the wingers are just brilliant. It's just that our center midfield isn't great and our defense is... Let's just see. I said that we... Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah. <laughs> Even uh, counting in cups. Our best results so far in two matches is uh, a win and a draw. Okay, everyone hasn't played 12 matches either. It would be nice. As you can see, they are third there. Please don't go. Oh no, penalty. Why? I think it was. No, Kirby Horn. It was. Horn Kirby. Thought of Daniels, but Daniels 6.7. As you can see, they're playing. Doby, yes, thank you. He's playing really good in goal. So we might get rid of Hall, actually, to be fair. Bird. Uh -huh. Oh, he can play as a left. Wing, yeah, I'm pretty sure on there. Even if it isn't his best position. Horn Kirby. Good, easy save for Aspin there. Stewart is not playing great, so might get him out as well. Can you put in the cross here, maybe? Gives away the ball. Stewart. Set up now. Master Aju. Oof. They actually have had more chances, but I haven't seen that much from them, to be fair. Here they have a free kick though, this is kind of a scary. Jack Smith get two chances and there we score on the second chance. Ugh. I think we might get Stewart out, he's not being excellent. So far and hopefully we'll see more of Ashworth. Uh, Horn Kirby is not playing that great either. I know Bird is not really a defensive mid here, but still trying them as Cavalero maybe. Maybe a little bit overreaction to make two subs, but I want to win this match after all. A draw doesn't really do anything. Grayson! Ashworth scores! Great through ball by Grayson there to Jack McMaster and Ashworth. <laughs> That's the issue, we have like the best strikers in the league. It's just like all our other parts of the team is not that great. So probably, I don't think it's going to just be an issue to go through to the next match because as you can see sometimes way too long time. So I've already decided here we will go for Ashton and Bleeper. Two home matches since we seem to lose every away match. If we don't get a... If we don't, if it's not getting a crisis and we need to come on early or get sacked or whatever. So Ashton 18th there and then Bleeper 2nd in February. And then we'll probably have the preview of the youth intake as well. Van der Steen. Good through ball to Ashworth. Yes, they are really good these strikers if they are not inconsistent. But if they get the balls from the... Wingers, they are really good. It's not too much they can stop them here, though. Oh, that's a great shot. Sean Wrigley. I mean, their XG is just way better than us. We are just clinical. <laughs> three shots on target, three goals. Focus. Daniels hasn't been great. I think we might do another change here. Aristo hasn't been great either. It's not that big of a difference, to be fair, but the problem is when Grayson isn't playing great, because he's like the best one, the Vander can also play good. Would like, or, uh, Grayson gets worse and worse. CC is 31. Ooh, Ar Aristo! Our uh, Cypress fellow, they actually played for their under-21 team. Yeah, our other fellow, he's just way too old, so... Would love to sign a wrist. Looks pretty good though. Tackling, marking, good free kicks there. Well, that was a long shot, so it's just five long shot. His possession is not great. That's great, but it's still just 19. He's not been that bad actually. He says he's the third choice there, but it's way. Yeah, this Foster and Proctor, they have both not played that much, and when I played them, they've been pretty bad. So, 4 2 in the end, way better performance. And sadly, that I mean, I wasn't expecting us to win, but I was hoping that we wouldn't be like that terrible. Hopefully, they will be a little bit more happy with this. So, we are 11 now. 
a steal of just three points up and then which is also okay somebody said team has just played 11 matches but still so yeah thank you all for watching have a good tea and a good coffee day and i see you soon again so bye